So, so Biden, uh, Biden recently, or should I say Biden's campaign, uh, because Biden's being led around on a leash by his campaign aides, basically, uh, Biden's campaign came out and said that if they were elected, they'd revoke the Keystone pipeline permit that Trump gave to the corporation who's trying to, who's endorsed the, uh, who's endorsed the, um, the pipeline for the last, like, really long does biden know who he is yet or not nah, or where he is i don't, honestly i don't know i don't i don't i mean if i'm gonna be honest he probably just <laughs> they just feed him jello and he keeps just going back out there they give him the lines they feed him jello and he's like well you know whatever sounds fun to me maybe who knows um the biden's campaign came out and said they would revoke the permit that Trump gave to allow the company who's endorsed the Keystone Pipeline to go ahead with their plans that has been, you know, bogged down for like, what has it been? Like almost a decade? It's been a, the Keystone Pipeline has been something that's been around for such a long time. It's absolutely garbage and it shouldn't happen, but they keep trying anyways. They keep on trying anyways. So here we are. Jill Biden's campaign said Monday that the former vice president will rescind the Keystone XL pipeline permit, if he is elected president, the controversial pipeline proposal was initially killed under the Obama administration, only to be revived under President Trump. Biden strongly opposed the Keystone pipeline uh, in the last administration, still alongside President Obama and uh, former Secretary John Kerry to reject, to reject it in 2015 and will proudly stand in the Roosevelt Room again as president and stop it for good by rescinding the Keystone XL pipeline permit. Which honestly, well, chill dog, chill, chill, snooze. I'm busy, okay, we'll get, we'll get to you later. Honestly, I like this. Honestly, that makes, that makes, me, that makes me pretty happy. Um, this pipeline is set to cross thousands of miles, well, hundreds of miles, almost, almost 2,000. Uh, of rivers, of wetlands, of, um, of, of nature that these pipes have known to destroy. Can you even imagine another BP oil spill situation, but over 12, uh, over 1200 miles of like river and forest land, uh, in, in like the upper U S can you even imagine that? I don't want to imagine it, but I can, it's happened before. And there's no reason why this won't happen again. The, the proposed 1,200 mile, $8 billion. That, that's, an ex, that's an expensive pipeline, dude. A billion dollar pipeline would carry 830,000 barrels of oil from Alberta, Canada to Nebraska, where it would then be transferred to refineries along, along the uh, Gulf of Mexico, owned by TC Energy, a Canadian company. Project has been delayed for more than a decade and it faces legal challenges uh, an opposition from environmentalists. Thank God, dude. Like, can you even imagine where this would be right now if it wasn't for like our on the ground protesters and activists working tirelessly to keep this thing from happening? I love it, dude. And thankfully, Obama actually did something good with <laughs> with his president with his presidency and stopped this from happening. Protesters called uh, construction of the pipeline for years during the. Oh, my bad. Protesters challenged construction of the pipeline for years during the Obama presidency, and Mr. Obama ultimately rejected the bill, uh, the project in 2015, citing uh, environmental concerns. So this is good on uh, this is good on Trump. Uh, my bad. This is really good on Biden's part. I think it is, or his campaign's part. I think it really is, honestly. It's good gesturing towards the more environmentally. Um, concerned people like me, myself, I care a lot about the environment. I think Bernie had probably the best had, you know, the best plan on the environment because he endorsed the green new bill, but Biden isn't as bad as a lot of people try and make out. He's not, he's obviously no Bernie. No one's no Bernie, but this is a good, this is a step in the right direction. This shows that we can influence him on lots of issues. One, including the environment, but (laughs) it's a pretty easy thing for Biden to come out and say 
because a judge already canceled the permit. It, it, it already happened. What was this like a month prior? Yeah, it came out the, a literal month before. They're like, oh, shit. Ooh. So this is kind of hopping on the bandwagon. But, you know, for all the bandwagons that the Biden campaign could hop onto, I'd much rather hop have him hop onto this one. It's pretty easy for him to, you know, uh, uh, for him to say that when it's already basically void at the time being, being bogged down in the courts. A U.S. judge canceled a key uh, permit Wednesday for the Keystone XL oil pipeline and expected to uh, expect it to stretch from Canada to Nebraska. Another setback for the disputed uh, project uh, that got underway less than two weeks following. Uh, wait, I can't read today, dude. I can't read today. Are you, let's try this again. A U.S. judge canceled a key permit Wednesday for the Keystone XL oil pipeline that ex- expected to stretch from Canada to Nebraska. Another setback for the disputed project that got underway less than two weeks ago following years of delays. I want to see where it talks about how many rivers it crosses, because that'd be really important. Let's see. Let's see. That'd be important. I want to see. I think it says it. I'm not sure. The ruling, however, does not shut down the work that has begun at the U.S.-Canadian border. According to attorneys in the case, uh, pipeline sponsor TC Energy will need the permit for future construction across hundreds of rivers and streams along the the Keystone's 1,200-mile route. Hundreds of rivers and streams. I mean, there have been so many oil spills. There's so much nature that has already been destroyed. I just... I just find it so hard to let these sorts of things pass uh, without high levels of scrutiny and high levels of of overwatch, which is something that we don't have right now, especially since the EPA is uh, headed by someone who doesn't believe the EPA should even exist. Mind you, (laughs) the dude who Trump put at the head of the EPA right now was a lawyer who specifically said who specifically fought against the EPA. Uh, for companies who want to dump toxic waste into like poor people's streams where they drink uh, and doesn't believe that the EPA should exist. So this is this is where we are right now. Uh, th- this is what's happening. And Trump just wants to let this go through, which has the possibility to ruin thousands of miles uh, and like a h- hundred thousand acres of of nature in uh, the North USA. So I think I say, you know, good on Biden, good on Biden, you know, for hopping on this judge's bandwagon. But I, 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 I'll, I'll give him credit, you know, credit where credit's due, dude. Him revoking that permit would give us at least another four years of, uh, of making sure that this isn't going to happen. And hopefully they just drop the project altogether. We can only hope, but you know, these people are relentless for the money that they want and, uh, they'll trample on any on any uh, dead bodies that they need to to get there.